Цим ранком ми захищаємо нашу державу наодинці. Як і вчора, найпотужніші сили у світі спостерігають здалі. Ми вас любимо. Это значит, что вы нас услышали. Это значит, вы нам начинаете верить. Боритесь за нас, боритесь против войны. In recent times, we've been witnesses to an intense rivalry among the world's foremost powers in the pursuit and deployment of cutting-edge weaponry. It's hardly a surprise that Russia emerges as one of the world's most formidable nations, primarily due to its substantial cache of nuclear armaments. However, Russia's aspirations extend beyond this. In a recent address, President Vladimir Putin made a significant announcement, successfully unveiling a groundbreaking weapon that takes the world into uncharted territory. So, what's this enigmatic superweapon that's captured Putin's discourse? How does it operate, and what are its extraordinary capabilities? Join us as we delve into the depths of Russia's latest weaponry, so advanced that it appears to defy the laws of physics. The ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine has been a protracted affair, far from the swift resolution Russia initially envisioned. The belief was that Russian military might would swiftly outmatch Ukraine's defensive capabilities. Yet, the conflict has endured much longer than anticipated, largely owing to the support Ukraine has received from Western nations, including the provision of state-of-the-art weaponry. The unexpected tenacity displayed by the Ukrainian armed forces has prompted Russia to reconsider its strategic approach. In a recent conference held in Vladivostok, Vladimir Putin disclosed crucial developments in Russia's relentless pursuit of military technological advancement. Putin alluded to Russia's active engagement in the creation of a novel generation of superweapons grounded in fresh physical principles. While specifics regarding these superweapons remain undisclosed, the phrase, new physical principles, hints at a revolutionary departure from conventional armaments. This intriguing assertion raises a plethora of inquiries about the avant-garde technologies and operational strategies Russia is investigating to achieve its military objectives. According to reports emanating from the Russian news agency, TASS, these groundbreaking armaments harken a departure towards wholly novel technologies. This could encompass a wide array of state-of-the-art innovations, encompassing but not limited to lasers, infrasound, radio frequencies, and other emerging breakthroughs. These pioneering technologies possess the potential to completely transform the landscape of warfare, rendering it increasingly unpredictable and demanding when it comes to countering military threats. Putin also underscored the pivotal role of drones as a central focus in Russia's military endeavors. Unmanned aerial vehicles and drones have irrefutably become indispensable components of contemporary military doctrines, conferring augmented capacities for reconnaissance, surveillance, and precision strikes. Furthermore, Russia has made substantial investments in the development and deployment of autonomous and robotic systems for its military forces, an endeavor aimed at augmenting their combat capabilities and doctrine. The Russian Ministry of Defense has been laboring towards the assimilation and enhancement of various categories of autonomous systems, encompassing aerial, terrestrial, and maritime domains, each capable of fulfilling diverse roles in combat scenarios. The employment of autonomous and robotic systems is seen as a methodology to significantly bolster the efficacy of Russian military missions, while concurrently mitigating risks and reducing casualties amongst military personnel. Russia is acutely aware of the need to adapt to the contemporary challenges and threats posed by adversaries who are concurrently advancing and deploying advanced technologies and weaponry. As for the prospect of another wave of mobilization, Putin has not ruled it out categorically. Instead, he has underscored the willingness of Russian men to conscientiously and voluntarily step forward to defend their nation, fully cognizant of the challenges and inherent perils associated with frontline service. What are your thoughts on this ongoing conflict? We invite you to share your perspective in the comments below.